happy Monday. It is almost two o'clock and I don't know what to tell y'all. I didn't close out yesterday. I didn't do anything this morning as far as the camera is concerned. It's been a doozy of a day. Just busy, not anything bad. Just super busy. I just now went to the gym. Got back from the sports bar. I got out of the parking garage with no issues. Got back here. My daughter wanted some, she wanted some seaweed. She's like, when you go to Trader Joe's this week, can you give me some seaweed? I'm like, let's just go now. We do. I changed clothes. I really wish that I had bought the camera with me because why do we have so much fun at the grocery store? Cracking Joe's just having fun together. And it was, it just warmed my heart. Like I had a good time with my daughter just doing nothing, like grocery shopping. So much so that other people kind of like recognized it too. Shoppers in the store spoke to us about like our banter and the back and forth of it all. And it, it just made me feel good. I had a good day yesterday and full transparency. If you follow my blog or even know about my blog, it's called Shama Janelle on shameless plug. I talked about the challenges with parenting and how sometimes I just feel like I'm doing it all wrong. I'm getting it all wrong. No matter how much I try to do it correctly, do it differently than what I experienced growing up myself, there are going to be times when your kids still are like, you suck at everything. And I guess it's just part of the territory with them growing up and discovering themselves and so for all the times that I have felt less than as a parent it's little moments like yesterday that make it worthwhile it's like little moments that you wouldn't even think about but I know in the blink of an eye she will be at school like in the blink of my eye my son will be this time next week, he'll be 21 years old. And I still think of him as like he's three. I don't treat him like that, but it's just like in my eyes, like they're still my babies. So that was a little, a little caveat or a little injection of a memory just to tell y'all what happened yesterday. So nothing, we just went to Trader Joe's, we went to Whole Foods. Um, <clears throat> I watched a little bit of Sun, Selling Sunset and then I did some work. I got in bed and I fell right to sleep. Like literally, do not pass go, do not collect $200. I put that weighted blanket on myself. Baby, I was out like a light. Good morning. It is Tuesday and I'm on my way into the office. 7.54, I am definitely not on time today. However, yesterday after I planned to come back, I hate that I have so many excuses with my first vlog back, but this is real life. This is authentically Shauna. My grandmother passed away yesterday. I already put my seatbelt on. See how in the zone I am. Anywho, yeah. So I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail about it. I probably will blog about this. My dad's wife uh, called me and told me. Then I talked to my dad. Then I talked to my uncle. Why do I have to go? I was just all out of sorts after that yesterday. Numb and emotional. I definitely cried. I was responsible for telling my brothers. And I still don't know how. I don't know what this feeling is. But anyway, after I found that out, it was just like, day's done, you know? So now I'm on my way to work. I literally did nothing after I found that out. Picked my daughter up from school. We went to Crumble. And this is how you know my mind was not in the right place because the wait for Crumble, even though it was like, I did it on the app. I have the app. <laughs> I ordered it at like 6.30. We didn't get our order until after 7.30, an hour for some cookies. After waiting the hour for the cookies, guess what? All the cookies were not in the box. Well, on the agenda today, I'm heading into the office and then I signed up to be a, I keep saying it's a taste tester. It's not, I guess it's like a focus group or 
consumer research panel for and pizza. I guess they sent an email, or whatever, and I was like, oh, that's that's cool and funny. I'll do that. And then I got the email like, hey, yeah, be here on this date and this time to taste some pizza and talk about it. So that's what I'm doing this evening. Back in the car. I am just leaving and pizza coming from the tasting. I got some footage while in there, but I didn't use my camera. I didn't break out my camera. Here's my my pen for my service, and then obviously we ate while there. A cool eight slices of pizza, and then we get a free, I think we get a free pizza? Or free and bucks? I don't know what they're called. For, um, being a participant so that's cool definitely not hungry that was dinner which rocks i need to it's gonna take me about 40 minutes to get home with the traffic of it all um i was thinking about stopping and having a beverage however comma i'm not and that's all i got for you let me talk to y'all later so i can focus on what i'm doing bye bye it's Thursday, just logged off from the part-time jobs. Oh, oh it is 4.04. Daughter has a event at school today. So I'm getting ready to go and support her for that. Not too much has been going on. Y'all haven't been missing a thing. I am getting ready to do a fake me out retwist i'm only going to i'm wearing my hair to the side or on one side so i'm just really going to twist the part that is like visible i need to wash my hair it is such a process i love my locks don't get me wrong but baby it is a process for sure i'll be back okay bye okay i'm done still have some clips in my hair but they're gonna stay in there until I actually get to her school hair and makeup done in 50 minutes it's 4.54 I think I'm just gonna keep this on I was gonna throw on some jeans but I don't feel like it I feel like and it's just a like an A-line midi dress that I got from Target okay I made it to the school I was chilling in the car and then Sam was like, the doors are open, you can come in. So getting ready to walk on over. I'm surprised I found some parking because it'd be slim pickings over here. But I'm not gonna walk outside and talk on the camera. I don't wanna be weird. Catch y'all inside. <laughs> at the National Museum of American History. I made it home. Safe and sound. I did stop off at a sushi restaurant by my house for a little nightcap. I literally just went for one beverage and some sushi. But while I was there, a young lady <laughs> came up to me and was like, girl, we're going to buy you a drink. You know? No, we're going to buy you a shot. I'm so okay. This is my drink and then my water and then the shot that they purchased for me. My drink was tasty and it was pretty. It was called Purple Rain. 
I wanted a lemon drop. I had a lavender lemon drop, y'all saw, at uh, Tom's Watch Ball. And they were so good. And low-key, I would go back there just to get that drink. However, they stole money from me. You know, some restaurants you go to, they give you a receipt. And you can pay your bill from the receipt. You scan the QR code and you pay it that way. So that's what I did because it was packed in there, as y'all saw. I gave the server a tip in cash. I didn't put it on the check. This is the only thing that I could think of. Like they inserted 20% gratuity into the check that I did not authorize. I did not put gratuity on that check. I zeroed it out specifically. They added it in automatically when I had already given her cash. So I left them a voicemail earlier this week, probably on Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday. They have not responded to the call. So I'm going to send them an email probably tomorrow. I'm not going to send it tonight. And then if they do not respond, I'm going to go up there as soon as they open. Give me my money. <laughs> That's all I got. All right. Good afternoon and happy Friday. It is 1219 and I am getting ready to go have lunch with a friend. Just catching up and talking about like business and such. I don't know if I shared what happened. Here's the story. After I left for a school event, I went to this sushi place for a little nightcap. I was just sitting there editing. I was chilling. The game was on. I would look up here and there to see what was going on with the game, but I really just wanted, I really wanted a lemon drop martini. I'm sitting there. I'm enjoying my beverage, enjoying my sushi and another customer who was there at the same time a lady came up to me out out the clear blue sky and was like oh hey we're gonna buy you a shot i'm like okay because okay they purchased the shot shot of casamigos reposado one for each of us the bartender brought it to us so it was like you know they didn't handle it it came directly from the bartender then she was like well i'm not going to take the whole shot because i'm like four or five drinks in already and i was like oh okay well i had only come to drink one beverage because i was going to the gym this morning which i did i take the shot like a champ like a boss and continue on <laughs> doing what i was doing thank them for the shot that was it. Then the the gentleman that was with her, a gentleman came, making small talk. And I was cordial, but I was also like, <laughs> oh, okay. But I was cordial. Kept it cute. He's making small talk. She's making small talk. But she's also talking to, like, there were, like, some guys at the bar. So she's talking to them, too. The... The gentleman is still conversing with me, chatting it up. I'm responding, but I'm also on my phone. I'm texting about what's taking place. By this time, I had, you know, I was finishing up my food. I hear them say, oh, uh, yeah, let's go outside and have a smoke. I signal to the bartender. Can I get the check, please? So he came here, he come and already cleaned up my plates and utensils. And then <laughs> I was like, can I get the check, please? So literally, like, as soon as they hit the door to go outside, I'm like, I gave him cash. Like, let's make this quick. I got to get out of here because <laughs> I'm not trying to be nobody's unicorn on tonight. <laughs> I paid the check. And I got out of there. Quick, fast, and then what a hurry. Because no guys, no gracias. That was my adventure 
for the night. I could hear them. I was walking like super duper fast to get out of there. Because I could hear them coming back in and like kind of wondering where I had gone off to. Oh, bye bye. Not tonight, dears. So that was my excitement for the night. Okay, this is what I threw on. This is not what I had on initially, but it'll do. We're going with a Canadian tuxedo. Denim on, denim on, denim. Or to Beyonce. And I'm going to use this little Kurt Geiger bag. It's now 12.56. So, let's go eat lunch. Something just happened with my memory card. So I hope that all the footage that I've been shooting over the several days was not lost because that's going to piss me off tremendously i was saying that i got this shower curtain from opal house in collaboration with jungalo and it's just a black and white like print afrocentric i guess or ethnic centric print on it so that's that lord i hope i didn't lose all that footage that's gonna be very Heartbreaking. I got the liner because they sell it separately. They want all your coins at Target. And then I just got um, some towels or a towel set. And this will be the one that's like decoration. Not really to be used, but I always end up using them. <laughs> but I don't have time to be like having stuff with decoration outside of like stuff out here. Um, I got some washcloths. Very unexciting haul here. I got some tea lights for my little incense burner things like Indian or Arabic incense that I burn. Um, I'll show it to y'all. I think that was it. I got Quest food. I got two like plain white shirts. It's literally like a white t-shirt and then a white tube top. That's it. It ain't even worth showing y'all. Um, yeah, that was it. And then some laundry detergent. Exciting. All right, I'm getting ready to clean, but first I'm going to check this memory card because I don't want to be pissed.